Hey there Stampers, this is Michelle Stoop bringing you some fun Halloween punch art for this year. This little girl here is named Sarsaparilla. She's just a fun little witch that is sure to bring smiles to whoever you might give her to. She'd be great on the top of a package on this little box. Uh, she's a great little embellishment. Or on even just a card with a little 3D punch out effect. So, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to put her together. First of all, you're going to need a few punches, obviously. We're going to need the 2 by 1 and 3 8 uh, oval punch. We're going to need the ornament punch. You can see these guys. We're going to use the owl builder punch just a little for her eyes on this one. And we're going to need the smaller scallop punch. Actually, Stampin' Up! just came out with a new small small scallop so <laughs> this isn't the small guy anymore but anyway this is the old style punch this is the largest one you can see what the difference uh, the difference in the styles but they work just as good so this is the scallop we're going to use today and then we would need the blossom builder punch just for her nose so let's get started and I'll show you what we did first off I used the oval punch and I punched out just one oval out of old olive and then for her face I used the blossom builder punch and I punched out just one of the blossoms out of old olive also and then I just cut off the top little neck part there so once you have these guys you're going to take them and you will sponge the edges with a little basic black and don't be too, too heavy handed on it. You just want to give a little dimension to those uh, ovals and to the ornament to kind of give them a little definition. It makes a world of difference and makes them just pop off the page. So you're going to go ahead and just sponge your edges. There we go. Now, to do the face, you will put a little bit of snail on the back of one, oops, on one end of your oval like so and then you're going to just center it over that ornament so you have a little double layer like so alrighty now next you're going to use your um, scallop punch now I used one large and or two larges I'm so, sorry two large scallops and two small scallops out of the Cajun craze. And this is going to be Sarsaparilla's hair. I'll show you again so you can kind of get a good a good glimpse of what she's going to look like. So we're going to have two of the small and two of the large. Now once you, you punch out your scallops you're going to take your paper snips and you're going to start just on one side and you can I hope you can see how I just went in and snipped down towards the middle in between those scallops. I went down and punched in, but I didn't go all the way around. I left these guys solid over here, okay? So you're going to do that on all four of those. So we'll have two smalls and two large. All right. What you're going to do is I took my two larges, and you will take your bone folder once you have uh, clipped the edges, and you will just break down the fibers just a little bit to curl it over. You can use your bone folder to do that, or you can also take your paper piercer and just sort of roll them, roll them down and give them a little bit of um, curl there. All right, I layered my two large ones with snail, so there's a little bit of fluffy hair there. And then I'm going to take, I trimmed off a little bit of this so there's not too much cloth. Took a little snail and I'm just going to put her face right in there. And then my two little uh, scallops, I'm going to put a little snail on those and put these guys in to give her long curls, like so. All right, so there you have the basics of her, ba the base of her face. <laughs> Sorry. All right, now. I wanted to do a fun little nose because all witches have cute little noses. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the uh, piece from the Blossom Builder Punch. We're going to use this little guy right here. 
you can see. And I'm going to take it and give it a little bit of dimension by sponging the edges with basic black, like so. All right, now once I did this, I took mine, let me show you here, and I just used my paper piercer, pierced a little hole and put a, a little black brad in there, it comes in the neutrals pack, and give her a little wart on the end of her nose, and then I curled it just a little bit with a bone folder so it sat up, and there's a dimensional underneath there to, to uh, pop it up. Okie doke. All right, next thing I did was I used my Owl Builder Punch, and I used the um, two larger circles, and I punched those out of white, and then these two medium-sized circles I punched out of black and layered those to make her eyes. So you can see here, I just snailed them together and kind of tucked them under that layer, oops, sorry, tucked them under that layer there of the oval um, to make it look like they are sitting sitting a little bit back on her, on her face. Alrighty, now, the hat. Really simple. The hat is a piece of black cardstock, and what I did was I cut uh, took a two inch wide by three inch tall piece of black cardstock and I just cut out a long triangle. Once I did that, I snipped off the top. You can see here it was two inches by three inches up to about right here and I snipped it off at an angle right here. Hope you can see that. And then I took another little piece of black cardstock and I made this longer triangle right here. Just a little piece so that it looks like her hat is bent over. So after I did that I snailed the little one on here and I had that and I just I took a, um, a sponge on this one and this is a fun little trick with black cardstock that's really neat to add dimension. You can tell here on the hat if you can see how the edges are sponged with white and it just gives the black, it makes it pop when you do, especially when you're doing punch art with it. So just take your white ink and lightly go around and sponge the edges to give it a little bit of dimension. A little attitude I like to call it. Alrighty, now once you've done that you can set that aside and we are going to, um, I'm going to show you how to do your hat brim. Now, I used the um, polka dot pattern from the, oh, what's it called? From the pattern pack, I'm sorry, the pattern pack paper of uh, the Regals. And this is the Rich Razzleberry, the polka dot out of that. And all I did was I took um, this piece, punched an oval just like I had with the for the face. I put a little bit of Razzleberry back here and just snail that down. Like so. To look like her hat brim. And then put a little bit of snail on the back of this guy. Like so. And I have a little bit of color there. Then what I'm going to do is I have two black ovals that I'm going to tuck in there to look like the brown is sticking up. Actually, let's go ahead and do it this way. I'm sorry. Do one here. And we'll do one over here. Like that. And then we'll stick her hat, the top of her hat, back behind there, like so. Now I didn't sponge the edges of that for you, but you can get the idea. So that's how her hat is going to sit with a little bit of purple back there. Now I made her, um, you can see here on the on the box, she has a little collar here with a brad, one of the shimmer brads in it so simple. I just punched out two more of those cute little um, petals from the Blossom Builder Punch. These guys are going to get adhered like so. Put a little bit of snail back here. 
took my blossom petal there. Another one over on this side. Like that. There you have it. Very simple. And with her nose and all of the, uh, her nose and her eyes and the little wart on her nose, she is gorgeous for a witch. So here's what sarsaparilla looks like and she is just ready to wish anyone a happy Halloween. So I hope you have a great time making this and I hope that you will stop by my blog at disneysuitsme.blogspot.com. Check out all the fun projects and uh, stop by and see me again soon. Thanks. Happy stamping.